Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm mainly going to be talking about iPhone 14 and this is what we found about the iPhone 14 on the Apple launch today and iPhone has changed from a notch to a pill cutout and this they call it the dynamic display. It will be uh, the main center of your multitasking as they use this to distract you from uh, uh, the big pill shape so the iphone 14 pro uh, is the only model that is going to have the pill cut out so the normal 14s yeah the usual 14 14 plus will still have the notch but the 14 pros will have the dynamic display as it is called and iphone released the 14 14 plus 14 pro and 14 pro max models and the 14 uh plus and 14 will have the a15 bionic chip and this time round they never upgraded the s16 is going to be for the pro models and here comes one of the big changes so iphone removed the physical sim card and replaced it with the eSIM. so uh there are, are no sim slots on the iphone 14 mainly the us models they are not going to have any physical sim slot and this is uh, a good thing and a bad thing so uh, you should take care when you're buying an iphone you should be keen uh, you shouldn't get a us model if you're not from us because for example in my country if you have an eSIM uh, phone uh, it won't be of use because uh, here eSIM services are not that reliable okay. SOS via satellite so this is where the phone connects direct to the satellite without connecting to cell towers and you can send emergencies emergency calls or uh, messages if you're in a very remote area plus an A16 chip for the pro models and also the camera was greatly improved on the pro models for with a 48 megapixel sensor so of all the changes the eSIM implementation is one thing that is going to be challenging for uh, different people who are you know going to end up getting uh, the US version and when they are not in US for example if you live in Uganda and you get the eSIM you will be totally screwed like almost screwed because the eSIM is something that is good but uh, most of the countries are not there yet and it was easy you know to change from one iphone to another you just switch the sim cards but now you will have to go through some extra steps uh, to change uh, from one iphone to another with the e sim so we shall see how this you know goes on and how it's going to work out with the e sim as you know uh, most times iPhone does it first and the rest will follow suit so uh, let us uh, you know hope for the best for the eSIM though it's going to be a challenging journey a challenging experience for most of the users from the physical sim to uh, the, uh, the eSIM so anytime soon this is going to be the new normal Anyway guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.